friends uh, this is normal for normal tv.com and today we'll have a quick look at uh, the new firefox for windows 8 so firefox uh, has entered the aurora channel uh, which means it's a pre-beta channel and uh, it's now available for download on uh, windows 8 so the firefox for windows 8 has a metro ui uh, similar to ie as well as uh, chrome so now you can ha get the taste of uh, firefox on the metro ui on windows 8 so we'll have a quick demo of uh, this uh, new browser so to get started you need to make the firefox aurora as the default browser on your windows 8 only then you will be able to access the metro ui so this is uh, required uh, before you access the metro version so right now we have uh, installed the aurora firefox for windows 8 and uh, made it as the default browser so let's uh, open the new browser so you can see the metro ui uh, it has the top sites uh, listed here uh, this is based on your usage then you have the bookmarks and the recent history at the bottom you have the um, a search and address bar so let's uh, just uh, open the blog so you can see two icons here this is the back button this is the option to add a new tab so those are uh, pretty good uh, design so you can see the the blog uh, rendering on uh, Firefox as you can see there are quite a few issues here with the rendering since it is a beta version you might end up bugs so when you right click on uh, any area you can see the tabs which are opened on this browser so you can add a new tab from here or you can click here to add a new tab so you can see the new tab available here you just right click on the vacant area and you can see the tabs you can add new tabs from here so let's uh, go back to our previous tab and then this is the back button okay now at the bottom you have the option now uh, find the search on the page then you can view on the desktop you can add to favorites and uh, you can also pin uh, to start screen so you can see you can pin, pin your favorite uh, websites uh, to start screen uh, so that is uh, again a handy feature okay then uh, let's go to the settings of the app so the, uh, this in the settings you have the options uh, so you can set the start page then you can clear private data that is browsing history and other data passwords uh, cache cookies etc then you can enable it to remember your passwords you have the crash reporter telemetry do not track yes you have the do not track option here i do not uh, want to be tracked is the default option and you can enable it if you want uh, tracking uh, then you have the sync option you can access your bookmarks passwords and other open tabs access your devices you need to have the firefox sync setup so you can set it up and then sync the uh, bookmarks and passwords uh, in case you are using firefox on other machines so that way it is uh, pretty handy so those are the options there and the about you can see it's a uh, 26.0 alpha 2 version it's the aurora version uh, so you're currently using using the aurora update channel so th that's the latest version so overall uh, browser looks good but this version is uh, pretty buggy here uh, as you can see there is a flickering on the screen when you scroll down so we're not sure whether this is uh, related to something else or not but uh, there is a flickering on the screen so we think this is a uh, problem because it's an alpha channel okay so those are the options uh, with the uh, firefox on uh, windows 8 so the ui looks uh, pretty good and uh, it uh, we, we might see more uh, polishing to the ui once uh, uh, the the browser is in the final version we expect the browser to be around uh, the jan or feb of 2014 so that that is uh, the target uh, is set by mozilla so you can expect uh, more changes coming uh, 
uh, as the uh, as the browser uh, goes to beta version uh, from the alpha channel so that's all guys uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our latest uh, youtube uh, videos by subscribing to our channel